it's time. Let's go. Hello, Clipper Nation. I am Foster White, and this is your Clipper News Report. This week, I'm happy to introduce my co-host, track star, cutie pie himself, Mac Whitworth. We're, when he's not diligently studying at school, Mac is busy working on his brand new up-and-coming SoundCloud rap. <laughs> let's, not, let's not talk about that right now. Well, no, don't be humble. You're insane. No, Mac 11 is absolutely... <laughs> talking about music, anyhow. Poised with high alum by the name of San Robbins performed the song Time in a Bottle on The Voice on October 8th. Robbins graduated from Portsmouth in 2015 and is currently a senior at Berkeley College in Boston studying songwriting. He has been making music since he was 13 and compares his style to that of James Taylor and John Denver. Although he ultimately did not advance, he continues to pursue music, playing at local venues like the Music Hall. You know, that dude used to be my neighbor. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I could hear yeah. him usually singing in the sh shower sometimes. Really, like opera? Like when I'm in the shower, I get him. Give me a sec. Uh, you, you know what, let's, 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 like, free robo, free robo, free robo. Mm. Well, let's figure out what he sounds like. Let's look at his auditions. I've looked around enough to know You're the one that I want to go through time with If I had a box just for me Sam has a great voice, but right now I think I'm looking for more soulful country artists. He was good. He was. I was just trying to go, da 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 da. 
Get up the worst. Sam's journey isn't over. He's now the fifth artist to join the comeback stage, selected by fifth coach Kelsey Ballerini. I was so looking forward to meeting you. Your audition was one of my favorites. And Thank you. It's pretty heartbreaking when they don't turn around for you, but I didn't show enough. I can do so much more. One thing I love about you is you're a musician. You play guitar and you write. And every coach consistently was like, your voice is perfect. Yeah. It was gorgeous. It's scary, you know, but here I am, ready to make my comeback. This is your second chance, so let's get to work. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, all right, let's go. Yeah, so for sure not opera. No. no. That was pretty nice, though. I oh, like that. That was good. It's, it's kind of a shame they didn't get picked by the coaches, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, Spirit Week was last week, as you all know, and to say the least, it was pretty darn amazing. First, we, first day was class color day, and it served as a nice opener to the week and unified all the classes together, kind of realizing that we're all one. Do you know what I mean? Gotcha. Uh, the second day of the week was Clash Day. As you can see, everyone got really into it. Everyone on the around the school looked terrible. Absolutely terrible. And for hashtag Hump Day, we ended up uh, doing Twin Day. And you could say that we were uh, C and double if you, if you uh, know what I... You good? I'm a little nervous. You're nervous? I eat while I'm nervous. Why are you nervous right Just now? Just you, you do you, I, I do me. All right. Um, well, no, wait. I, I'm sorry. Why? It doesn't make sense why you'd be nervous in that. Fa like, you've already Fa done Fa stuff. Fa why? Fa Fa Captain Crunch? This is, this is my son. All right. I... All right, um, moving on, I guess. On Thursday, we, were, we saw the return of the beloved Pajama Day. Finally, students everywhere were able to sleep in class comfortably. But enough about us. Let's head on over to chat with Luke, and we'll find out what the rest of the uh, school thinks about Spirit Week. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Chat with Matt. This week, the Clipper News team ventured on over to the halls of PHS during fourth block to find out what you thought about Spirit Week. Thank you. Thank you. What fuels your school spirit? Uh, competition. I feel like when everyone like participates, it like, makes me want to become better. Right, right. I'd agree. Jim. Jim. Jim, that's a good one. What about you? Uh, lunch. Ah, uh, I mean, Papa blessed to that, you know? Being able to meet, see teachers that I really enjoy and see students that I really enjoy. Sen senior year, that was it. It's just all been building up to senior year. Right. Beating Tyler at everything. Um, definitely seeing, just like walking down the hallways and seeing everyone dressed up like on a certain day. That sort of shows how like we're all unified. Um, I would just say that the community we belong in, everyone's just super passionate about what they do. And like once you find your passion, everyone kind of figures it out. I think it's pretty cool. Just love the Clippers. Anyways, we rounded out the week with uh, School Colors Day and represented Clipper Nation with maroon, white, and gold, except for the seniors, of course, uh, all wearing that black. Uh, we ended the week with a pep rally that really tapped into our school spirit. The so sophomore class. Uh, the what? Hmm? What class one? The, it was the soft. The, so <laughs> the, the what? The, sof the sophomore class won Spirit Week, but that doesn't matter because. The seniors, Papa Bless, won the pep rally. So let's go. Let's day go. Let's go with that. You know. So, anyways, let's go and get some highlights from the pep rally itself. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. So sure she's here, you can take a break. I'm a hot air balloon that could go to space. Clap along if you feel like a room. 
That was pretty fun. That, that was good. I like that. Though I did think that we were playing on cutting the part with the sophomores wearing because no oh, one likes Come on, Foster. It's all, it's all about school spirit. Yeah, I mean, well, it's all about school spirit, but I mean, I think we could have won that one, you know? I, I guess. Well, speaking of school spirit, uh, last Friday, our, our girls' volleyball team played an amazing game. The team rounded out their season with a win against Winnicunna. We had an excellent student turnout, especially with the ever exuberant paint crew. Yeah, for you guys. It's always great to see our students supporting each other inside and outside of the school day. Thanks, Mac. Uh, Pain Crew was looking good at their kiss, kiss, wink, wink, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, have you heard of the boosters? No. The boosters are people who help donate time and energy to PHS athletic teams. Let's learn more about this week's booster club. My name is Cody Graham. Uh, I just graduated from Portsmouth High School and I'm attending Ball State in the fall to try to walk on and play football. I'm Mike Sanborn. Um, I just graduated from Portsmouth High School and I'm attending Clarkson University and I'm going to study aeronautical uh, engineering. I'm Max Lincoln. I'm going to Northeastern next year to study computer science. I've learned the most about how you can push beyond your limits and that any limitation that you set yourself isn't really the actual limit that you have. It may be a lot of work, but the result is definitely worth it, and the journey along the way helps you build your character. It's very, it's hard work and discipline throughout three, four months. My personal limits are were not what I thought they were. Uh, at the start of the season, coach was telling us that uh, whatever, whenever you think you can't go any longer, there's always at least 40% left, and we really took that to heart and just tried to push our limits, and it worked out. Boosters have been a great help to our team over the past four years. Man, they did a lot all four years. They were really at it every year, um, helping us, giving us whatever we want, um, everything that we need. Um, they really did a lot in terms of the community and getting everyone together. 
I'm really thankful for them. Uh, I'd like to support the Basketball Boosters who's been supporting us for four years, and I would also like for, uh, support from other people around the community. Please support Portsmouth High School Basketball Boosters. As you may know, Halloween is just in a few days. I hope you all have your costumes ready. Mac, what are you most af sorry? What are you most afraid of? Ventriloquist dummies. Oh, mine's slightly. It, mine's close to that. It's failure in my father's eyes. Anyways, let's go back to Luke and find out what scares uh, students at PHS the most. Hey guys, welcome back to Chat with Nat. As you know, October or Halloween month is a season of spooks and scares. Today, I'm going to be roaming the halls of Clipper Country to find what scares students the most. What scares me? Disrespecting the lunch ladies, the backbone of our school. Anyway, me, Lily, Lucas, Fran uh, will be asking what keeps them up at night. First question is, what scares you the most? Hugner. Hugner. <laughs> 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 All right, and what scares you the most? Uh, that's a pretty hard question. Probably uh, Evil Morty. Uh, are you kidding me? Of course. Huh. Homework. That scares me the most. Spiders. Uh, open ocean. Very interesting answer. Um, I would say my biggest fear is just like people running around with chain chainsaws or uh, knives. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, orcas. Orcas. Okay. All right. I think what scares me the most is that Foster wears a gorilla suit for pajamas. I would like to say that's a pretty messed up answer, Mary Lyons, um, and I do not agree with that. Also, my name is Gorilla Mike, not Foster. I don't know who that is. Foster, you know you look terrifying in that yeah, costume. Yeah, I thought it was kind of weird that everyone's biggest fear, like a bunch of people's biggest fears were just me. That's kind of, kind of makes me feel bad. I, I love Tucker's response. He's like, the open ocean, and then Luke was like, yeah, it's, it's weird. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's kind of terrifying. I mean, I yeah, just like being on it, you know. Anyways, on a sadder note, uh, NASA astronaut Richard Searfoss, a PHS graduate from the class of uh, 1974, has recently passed away. Searfoss launched three space shuttle missions before serving as a test pilot for a commercial rocket plane. We will remember Searfoss and his great spirit will live on with PHS for now and forever. Well, that is all we have for this week, guys. My name is Foster White. And I'm Mac Whitworth. Before we go, I want to give a quick shout out to my YouTube channel, Foster the Person, just one word, and Mac may be your SoundCloud Mac 11, yeah. right? <laughs> let's, let's cut it. Yeah. All right. Uh, it. Anyways, <laughs> that was your Clipper News Report. Save my biggest fear. Oh, my God. <laughs> Foster White in the Oh my god, this is scares me. Spooky Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 Thank <laughs> you.